Hey guys and very good morning from Munich Airport Terminal 1. It is 4 a.m. in the morning as you can probably already hear I have no voice at all as I slept inside the airport terminal for the entire night. However, today I'll be flying all the way to Volos, Greece on board a Condor flight that is operated by Heston Airlines with an Airbus A320. This may become a quite interesting flight. So thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report and let's head right inside the Germany building in order to check in. And let's just hope that my voice is maybe somehow coming back during this report. Cheers. Munich Airport is Germany's second largest airport, offering a capacity of 28 million passengers per year. It was opened back in 1992 and acts as a hub for several German airlines like Condor, TuiFly, Lufthansa and Eurowings Discover. It's divided into two terminals. The larger Terminal 2 is used exclusively by Star Alliance carriers, while the smaller Terminal 1 is used by all other carriers like Condor and also Heston Airlines. You can easily reach Munich Airport from the city center by taking a local train which takes roughly 45 minutes. But enough on that, Condor's check-in is located at counters 103 to 137 today and seems to be kind of crowded, although it's 4 a.m. in the morning. All right, the check-in process is finally done after like 10 to 15 minutes of waiting and I have to say that the check-in agent today was really kind as he even gave me a free seat upgrade as I initially had a seat next to the ale and now I got one right next to the window which is of course perfect for filming purposes. However, I'm now at the very end of a very very long queue for the security check so let's see how long it will take to finally get through the security check. I think maybe an hour or something. Let's find out. To be a bit more precise, I'll be on board Condor flight DE1786 to Volos, which is leaving from gate D03 at 5.50 a.m. So let's finally head through the security control in order to get to the gate. Alright guys, I now finally made it through the security check and I am now also waiting at gate D3 um, to board the aircraft and as you can see here I have a perfect view on today's Airbus A320 and as you can probably already guess I am really looking forward to board this aircraft in order to show you guys the cabin interior etc and also in order to try out this very new airline. Once you arrive airside Terminal 1 offers dozens of bistros, restaurants and also duty-free shops. I must mention, however, that the amount of seating possibilities is limited compared to the amount of gates. So better get here early in case you want to take a seat before your flight. Alright guys, I'm finally on my way to today's Airbus A320. Can't wait to get inside, as I already said before. This will be a pretty good <laughs> adventure, hopefully. As you can see, I am really tired, so let's take the very last percentages of my internal battery um, and take a quick look around my seat and around today's cabin. First things first, the legroom is actually decent and way better compared to those A320s that are directly operated by Condor. In front of my knees there is a seat pocket with a safety card and some other magazines inside and right above is a foldable table that can also be pulled out further horizontally. The view outside for my seat 6A is pretty good and I am really looking forward to some great views over the Volos area once the sun got up and it's bright outside. Finally, let's just take a quick look through the forward cabin. We have estimated a uh, flight time of approximately uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes. Uh, with uh, good weather, as soon as we uh, clear the Alps, the, um, the routing uh, is supposed to be uh, quite good. As we reach uh, the area of uh, Volos, uh, there were 
uh, earlier this morning some thunderstorms it should be clearing by now um, however the uh, temperature is going to be very pleasant for the day we're going to be uh, with you while airborne with the latest data concerning our route of flight and the weather for the time being just sit back relax enjoy the flight and the service from our cabin crew thank you for uh, flying with us and we hope to see you in one of our next flights well, we are finally about to line up the runway and the cabin crew already came around in order to do their final cabin safety checks before departure. So it's now also time for me, of course, to double check that my seatbelt is securely fastened. And let's just fly to Volos. I think this will be a good flight. Hopefully I'm correct. Good morning once again. I honestly slept in directly after takeoff as I was completely tired and I just woke up perfectly as the in-flight service started. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by today's in-flight service, so let's take a quick look at it. Believe it or not, but as of now there is a complimentary in-flight service on board Condor flights operated by Heston Airlines. Usually, you need to purchase drinks and snacks from Condor's onboard menu, which we will be checking out later. So, for reasons I don't know, Heston Airlines is offering a complimentary snack and beverage service on flights operated for Condor. This morning, I decided to go for orange juice and still water. Additionally, some crackers and chocolate cookies have been served. I can only repeat that I was positively surprised by this and absolutely did not expect it. In general, I think it's appropriate to serve at least a small drink for free on holiday flights, but unfortunately this seems to be impossible for airlines nowadays. Anyway, let's enjoy the small breakfast in combination with a great sunny wing view. First things first, let's take a sip of the OJ. Cheers. Not too bad, my voice is even getting better. Good. I think I already had these crackers on my last American Airlines long haul flight from Frankfurt to Charlotte. The trip report should actually already be online, so do make sure to check it out after you watch this one. Anyway, um, let's try them out once again. Not too bad. Honestly, um, the coffee isn't good at all. We expect our landing in uh, less than 30 minutes. With good weather conditions, uh, partly cloudy skies in uh, Volos. The uh, temperature is 20, 25 and rising. We are uh, now passing over Castoria with the lake uh, on the left hand side. And as we continue, we're going to be passing over the city of Kozak. Which will be uh, next to the uh, lake. Then uh, further south uh, towards uh, Larissa, we're going to be passing over Mount Olymp and uh, from there uh, to Volos. Once again, we'd like to thank you for uh, flying with us and we hope to see you in one of our next flights. As I said before, Condor normally offers snacks and drinks for purchase from their onboard menu. 
So let's take a quick look inside the menu, which can be found in the seat pocket in front. As you can see, Condor usually offers a decent variety of various sweet and salty snacks, but also good looking sandwiches. They also recently started selling hot drinks from Starbucks. Furthermore, both soft drinks and alcoholic beverages, as well as menu deals, are offered for a decent price compared to other competitor airlines. However, I must mention again that neither these products nor the products from the onboard shop, which we will be checking out now, were available on today's flight. Finally, here is the safety card of today's Heston Airlines Airbus A320-200. Let's take a closer look at the cabin interior. The seat itself has a leather cover and is quite comfortable in general. One feature I particularly like is the headrest. Firstly, it can be flexibly adjusted and is therefore perfect for quick and cozy naps. And secondly, it features a separate headrest cover with a Condor logo on it, which I always love to see. Anyway, the seat also features a coat hook and an armrest, which is unfortunately missing a button to recline the seat, which would have been a perfect addition to the nice headrest. A power outlet underneath the seat is missing as well, and the only thing I was able to find were some breadcrumbs from past flights. And finally, the passenger service unit above me features reading lights as well as fresh air nozzles. I have to say that today's cabin crew is doing a fantastic job so far. Um, the cockpit as well, um, the pilots are always making some uh, announcements about where we uh, currently are, etc. However, there was this one cabin crew member who had his um, eyes like right above the bulkhead in front in the forward galley and was like, yeah, I don't know, like, like stalking the passengers for uh, several minutes in a row. Um, nothing too special about that, but I don't know, I just feel, felt a bit, um, yeah, ghosted to say so. It was, was a bit creepy, but anyway, just wanted to add that. Cabin crew, take your seat for now. Alright, we are finally in our short final approach into Volos Airport. So the cabin crew already did the final cabin safety checks before landing. Um, the gear is already down, the flaps are already set for landing. So let's also double check that my seatbelt is of course securely fastened for landing. And let's go for a nice landing in Volos with a decent view I have to say. Alright, time to say goodbye to my seat 6A. Let's head outside. Oops. Thank you guys Thank for the nice flight. Nice Cheers. Today. You Bye. too. What I love about Volos Airport is that you get some amazing opportunities to take pictures of the aircraft during boarding or disembarkation. Mostly the staff is completely fine with that and even happy to assist. Calimera Volos and bye bye Heston Airlines. It was a pleasure. However, how was today's flight? 
Firstly, both the cockpit and the cabin crew were in a good mood and especially one younger flight attendant in front was on a real power trip. He actually kind of remembered me on my first flights as a flight attendant some years ago. The cabin interior was in a good condition and I particularly liked the flexible headrest and the decent amount of legroom. Both can normally not be found on Condor's Airbus A320s. But the greatest and also the most surprising thing on today's flight was definitely the complimentary onboard service that you are normally not supposed to get on Condor flights. So in the end I can absolutely recommend taking a Condor flight that is operated by Heston Airlines and I do wish the young Lithuanian based carrier all the best for the future. Finally I would like to thank you guys for watching this video until the end. Please make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment to support me if you haven't yet. Have a good one, take care when crossing a street, cheers.